All righty. Hey, everyone. Hopefully you guys are all doing pretty good. Today is Friday, November 19th, 2021. And I was going to make this video just going off. How is it that these people nominated Cyberpunk for a gaming award? Now, originally, I thought it was going to be game of the year. I was like, yeah, that's I was thinking, man, they lost all credibility. But thankfully, Cyberpunk 2077 wasn't nominated for game of the year. But that still raises some questions. Why in the world would this game be nominated? But um, uh, two of them, uh, from what I know, is that they've been nominated for best score and music. And the second one is for best RPG. Now, I could give them a pass for the uh, score and music, but best RPG Oh my goodness, uh, I'm looking at uh, Monster Hunter Rise, and uh, I'm thinking, why? You know, it's just, it doesn't make any sense that they would actually nominate that game. Uh, this is not a sort of uh, behavior that we want to encourage from this industry, and yeah, it, it just doesn't leave a really good taste in the mouth. Uh, like I said, at first I thought it was going to be a Game of the Year Award uh, nominee, and I was like, oh my goodness. It, it can, like I said, could be a little bit better with the uh, score and music, but yeah, this is not something that I will personally have played, and I probably won't play it. So, yeah, I mean, um, like I said, I could have let them go by with a score and music, but yeah, the rest of it, I was like, oh, I don't know about that. But, yeah, thankfully, the, it's not game of the year. My my game of the year would either be between uh, Metroid Dread and Ratchet and & Clank uh, Rift Apart. I haven't played Ratchet & Clank. I have played Metroid, so I'm a little bit biased towards that, and I would say that that would probably be my choice of game of the year. But yeah, we can't really take these uh these gaming awards very seriously. It's just a sort of like patting each other on the back. You scratch my back, I scratch yours sort of situation. But I personally was like, oh my goodness, it raised so many red flags and raised my eyebrows. I was like, what in the world? But yeah, it just goes to show that these uh, gaming awards are just one big uh, commercial, uh, just a way to make money for them. And uh, uh, I just, I couldn't get over it. I was like, oh my goodness, this is, uh, this is not real. But I'm really glad to see that it isn't nominated for Game of the Year. So uh, hopefully Metroid Dread or Rift uh, Apart, uh, Ratchet & Clank get it. Because uh, I think those are some of the excellent games that we had this year. I mean, we didn't have much. But yeah, hopefully that's what we're going to get into. Uh, just want to make a quick video on that. Like, oh, wow. You know, it would have been a, a totally different situation if it was a Game of the Year nominee. But yeah, I'll probably be watching it. It's uh, either December 8th or December 9th. I can't remember. I think it's 9th. Uh, right when uh, Halo Infinite was supposed to drop. But yeah, that's it for the video. I just wanted to make a quick video putting this out there and saying just, wow, I couldn't believe it. All right, guys, well, check out the channel. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you. And also, this is a gaming and entertainment and inspirational motivational videos for you guys. And also is a Spanish language channel. So check it out. If you guys like what you see, subscribe. I'm signing out now. I will see you when I see you. Oh, excellence. The nominees for Game of the Year are Deathloop from Arcane Studios, It Takes Two from Hazelight, Metroid Dread from Mercury Steam and Nintendo, Psychonauts 2 from Double Fine Productions, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart from Insomniac, 